Whether you're running in guns blazing, being stealthy behind enemy lines, or commanding the action from a great distance, these games have covered all the dirty and destructive aspects of war. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Tom Clancy video games. Get behind cover! For this list, we've taken a look at the video game titles from the technologically fancy Tom Clancy franchise, and have selected our favorites based on each of their innovation and design at the time of their release, memorable narratives, and player reception. Entries need not carry the name Tom Clancy for it to qualify, but they must originate or be connected to some other IP, whether it be novels or films, conceived or penned by the late author. Way to go, Captain. Number 10, Ghost Recon. They call themselves the Ghosts. Before Call of Duty's Ghosts, there were Tom Clancy's Ghosts. After the rocket success of the first Rainbow Six game, game developer Red Storm Entertainment quickly realized the goldmine name of Tom Clancy and scrambled to create an entirely separate ongoing series. The result was this breakthrough title, introducing us to the quote-unquote fictional US Special Ops Force, who, in this game, are tasked with suppressing an ultra-nationalist uprising in the then-future of 2008 Russia. I never thought I'd see US troops fighting in Red Square on behalf of the Russian people. This is the final showdown, gentlemen. The first game in the series, Ghost Recon, is credited as the game that solidified the tactical shooter as a bankable genre, as well as segueing FPSs into the modern age. He's history. Number 9. Splinter Cell Double Agent. My name is Sam Fisher. This time you're going deep undercover. After the unprecedented success of the preceding titles in the series, which we'll get to later, Splinter Cell developer Ubisoft looked to double down on the success of their 05 Game Changer with the release of two 2006 sequels. The superior was the console title Double Agent, where players returned as NSA super spy badass Sam Fisher, who goes deep undercover shortly after his daughter's death. I used to take orders. Finish your mission. Now I execute them. Despite having two different renditions during the 7th gen transition, Double Agent was praised for its story's themes of morality and deception, as well as its well-evolved stealth action gameplay. <laughs> Number 8, Splinter Cell. As the first Tom Clancy game developed for the 6th generation consoles, this title was bound to be a revolutionary treat from conception. The final product resulted in one of the more beautifully designed and tactically based Tom Clancy narratives upon its release. While some critics panned the game for its then unpopular trial and error style gameplay, Splinter Cell was ultimately immortalized for its writing, graphics, and mechanics. Garnering widespread industry and fan praise that's still vivid today, Sam Fisher gave Solid Snake a decent run for his money. I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Number 7. Hawks Nostalgic players longing for the days of arcade flight simulators will have fun manning the sticks of these bad birds. An acronym for High Altitude Warfare Experimentational Squadron, Hawks puts you in the cockpit of a US Air Force pilot turned private military contractor combatant, taking you on awesome, hyper intense strafe and dogfight missions around the globe. I'll be your flight controller for this mission. I have you on my scopes at the Mexican border, bearing 0, 9 or 0 at 30 miles. Loaded with upscale and well detailed graphics, and featuring a whopping 50 fighter jets. It is without a doubt one of the more underrated Tom Clancy titles, even though it did get a sequel the following year. Not bad, Crenshaw, not bad at all. Number 6, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Let's move. Moving to position. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. This is the game we all picked up for having such pretty box art. You know it's true. Then again, that superficiality paid off though, didn't it? Taking place immediately after the events of its predecessor, Advanced Warfighter 2 puts it back in the boots of Major Scott Mitchell, whose ghost unit continues their ongoing mission to suppress spreading civil unrest in South America. We can't extract the VIP by chopper until those AA assets are neutralized. Mitchell, get on it! Though not the groundbreaking and graphic marvel that the original was, we're still giving the medal to its superb successor for amping up the details, mastering the sound, and removing all the bugs. Grab a rail, Captain! Captain! We ain't got much of a road where we're going! Number 5, Rainbow Six. Its code name is Rainbow. 
beautifully exemplifying why 1998 was the year to be a PC gamer was this title, the one and only classic that launched Tom Clancy's video games into franchise territory. It has become harder and harder for the security forces of individual nations to combat this threat to the safety of their people. At its release, veteran players of the genre were bewildered, but nonetheless attracted to this game's novel mechanics and then migraine-inducing difficulty. forcing players to plan ahead and stop and think before they go in guns blazing. Ghost Recon may have popularized the tactical genre, but Rainbow Six invented it. Number 4. Splinter Cell Blacklist While we were thrilled by 2010's action-packed conviction, our 7th gen pick goes to Blacklist for its return to the series' roots, implementing improved sandboxes and a darker stealth style of gameplay. A direct follow-up to Conviction, Fisher, now voiced by Eric Johnson, returns in the newly established 4th Echelon, who are tasked with stopping a new terrorist organization known as the Engineers. I wasn't talking to him, my friend. I was talking to you. While Blacklist did fail to meet Ubisoft's sales expectations, it didn't fail longtime Fisher fanboys and aficionados of the genre, who all praised its story, multiplayer, mission designs, and the massively expanded variety of options for executing those missions. The only real complaint? Well, we miss Michael Ironside. You can forget the company man bullshit breaks, you're on our team now. Number 3. Rainbow Six Vegas This way's better. DoD wants us to be Delta's forward team. We give them our intel and they help us find Khan and Gabe. Ubisoft hit the jackpot with these games. With the first title released just days after the PS3's launch, Vegas served as a headlining foray for Sony and Tom Clancy fanboys into the next generation of gaming. In both games, players command a new rainbow unit out to stop a terrorist ringleader, which of course brings them to Sin City. With the introduction of new aiming, cover, and health systems, as well as improved and harder to kill AI enemies, Vegas 1, as well as its excellent sequel, garnered non-stop rave reviews, taking home plenty of awards for its perfect blend of style and substance. Welcome back, guys. You did good. Number 2. Rainbow Six Rogue Spear Serving as the first non-expansion sequel to the original game, Rogue Spear was the highly anticipated title that PC users everywhere were aching to get their hands on. Alpha, go. Building on the then hyper-realism that made the original Rainbow Six successful, Red Storm Entertainment upped the ante for PC gamers by boosting AI intelligence and adding more hostage and teamwork-based situations. By the end of 2001, both Rogue Spear and its original predecessor had sold nearly a half a million accumulated units. Mission success. Objective completed. Before we gear up for our probably obvious number one, let's have a look at some honorable mentions. Confirmed kill. What would you suggest? I'm sure there's some kind of fuel in this place we could use. Take a look, we'll keep trying here. Maybe if we can't reach the guard, you can cook them. Number 1. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Yeah, you guys didn't see this coming, right? Serving as the third game in the Splinter Cell series, Chaos Theory was the first to receive an adult-only M rating for its significantly darker nature, showcasing bloodier confrontations and more inhumane interrogation tactics. Uh, I'm going for a walk. In addition to the beautifully fine-tuned stealth mechanics, the game introduced a now close-encounter combat system, demonstrating Fisher's lethal melee capacities with a knife. Selling 2.5 million units less than a month after its release, Chaos Theory garnered universal acclaim for all its console renditions and is considered the very best of the series. You wouldn't shoot an old friend. Do you agree with our list? You have the right to freedom of speech. Which game with Tom Clancy's name is your favorite? This is no coincidence. For more tactical top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Goodbye.